Okay, everybody. So we got the fretboard glued onto this neck here. Just taking my clamps off. And what I did, so I'll show you what I did in a second, but I got this steel or aluminum beam. That's my straight standing beam. And I put that underneath the back of the neck. So whenever I glued this down, I knew the neck was glued straight. You know, there'd be no bows in the neck or anything. I use these pieces of wood here. So I won't put no dents in the front of the um, fretboard. is a guitar neck with a rosewood fretboard and this is just my straight sanding beam for doing frets and stuff since it's flat I clamped it to the back and now and then my neck's gonna be pretty much straight what I also did if you can see I got a pin right there and I got a pin right there and that's just side dot material that you put in the side of the fret board here and I drilled a, it's a 16th inch, and I drilled a hole through the fretboard on the slot itself, on both places, opposite of each other. And I drilled and put them in, and that keeps the fretboard, once you put the glue on, it keeps the fretboard from moving forward and backwards, or sideways. And all I do is clamp my clamps down, and once I get it set, I don't have to worry about my fretboard moving on me. So now that we got the clamps off of this thing, now these things here won't be a problem. They're plastic, and I'll take a, a pair of pliers and cut them off flush. And I'll take my fret saw and re-fret that and once I put the fret in you won't even see that hole at all. That fret will cover that, cover that completely. So the next thing we got to do is on the back side you can see the overhang of the fretboard here down to here. The overhang of the bank will cut that a little bit and on the bottom same thing from here down across to there. We got to cut that off and make it smooth with the side of the fretboard. So what we'll do first is we'll snip these two things off. Then we're going to take and take it to the bandsaw and cut this off as close as we can, pull it down across as close as we can, pull it down across both both sides. Then we'll throw this thing on the router table and route it flush. my uh, bandsaw here and got the sides close or closer you can see I don't know if you can see that or not maybe that way there's about an eighth of an inch sticking out for the most part now we're going to take this thing over to my um, router table lay this thing upside down and we're going to take a router bit and run down along the side here and get the sides of these things flush with the side of the neck we just ran my neck through the router the sides are cut down flush on both sides. You can see that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start laying out my dot inlays. Now, I put dot inlays on my fretboard because I'm just too lazy to do anything else. And that's not really the reason, but at the end of the day, that's what it ends up being. Um, so we're going to do dots, you know, three, five, seven, the, the typical. But instead of going down the center of the neck like this, we're going to start on, this is a lefty neck, so it's going to be lefty neck reverse peg head, like this. So we're going to start on the third fret at the top, 
the fifth fret at the top, the seventh fret at the top, the ninth fret at the top, then come down to the twelfth fret, which would be, I think, here. At this point, we're going to put one at the top and one at the bottom, and then starting with the fifteenth, we'll do fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, and then naturally the two dots on twenty-four back in the center like this. So that's what we got. We got a twenty-four. Um, or not 24 dots, but on the 24th fret. So this is ready to be laid out for the dots. We're not going to do that today. We're done here today. Um, but I want you to take a look at this neck real quick and find out there's something different about this neck than uh, probably most any neck out there. And if you can see what the difference is, put it in the comments below. Go in the comments and tell me what's different between this neck and any other neck that I build or any neck on any other guitar. Or most guitars, I'm not saying any other guitar has, hasn't had this, but there's something about this neck that's different. And I'll let you know in the next video. That's going to do it. In the next video, we're going to come back through. We're going to lay out our dots, drill the holes, and then we're going to decide what color. I got turquoise blue, I got orange, I got red, or I can go pick up any other color that I want. But we'll probably go blue. Might get orange. We'll see. Um, get the dots in this thing. And then from there, we got to drill tuner holes in this thing. And this peg head's kind of thick. We got to cut that down a little bit, get it down to about five eighths of an inch or so. And then I'm going to do a video on rounding this back. I'm going to do a how to on this. I'm going to go in depth. It might even be a two part video where I go through and tell you exactly how to take and round the back of a neck down to the size you want it to have, put a balloon on it, and everything like that. It should be pretty cool. That won't be for a couple weeks though. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, rate, all that good stuff. Like I said, there's a video where I'm giving away a set of pickups, a set of Tele, or a set of Strat pickups. Go over there, make a comment on the um, video. You'll be entered to win them. Like I said, they'll be giving them away here. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, we got to wind them there first. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.